our laws have to be fair and to the greatest extent possible reflect the values and experiences of the citizens um, that, that they govern. Our eavesdropping law does not currently reflect, I think, those common practices and experiences of our citizens. And so I'm bringing before you today a very narrow exception to designed to deal with a very specific concern. House Bill 3944 allows citizens to make an audio recording of police officers performing their public duty on public property. Their public duty on public property. Right now, if that, a citizen does that, it's a class one felony with carrying the potential for a 15 year penalty. And citizens are being charged under the current law for doing nothing more than what thousands of citizens um, do every day in Illinois and what we all do, which is to pull out our cell phone, open up the camera and start recording. There have been some very high profile prosecutions that have caught the attention of the public. And while some of these cases are grinding through uh, the, the court system, I think it's important that the House and the, that the General Assembly act now to put an end to these prosecutions. They are unfair and of great concern to the public. You're getting it all said? <laughs> <laughs> and with the G8, <laughs> sure, fire, everybody else is, so fire away. <laughs> Um, with the G8 and with the NATO summits coming to Chicago in May, thousands of journalists and attendees are at great risk of prosecution. So let me point to give you a couple specifics in the bill. Um, we model the definition of public place from the Illinois Child Curfew Act. It allows recordings in places that are outside a point of restricted access. So, for example, a police station lobby would be a pu considered public. An interrogation room behind the, bu behind the uh, barrier would not. Courtrooms may be considered public places, but they're unique from other pl public places in that the ju judiciary has exclusive authority to regulate actions within the courtrooms, and judges would still be able to determine whether or not recording is permitted or not um, in their courtrooms. Finally, um, it's been my experience that every attempt to change the Illinois eavesdropping law brings on the discussion and the, in, uh, in the debate as to whether Illinois should adopt one party consent standard. Illinois is not alone in requiring all parties to a conversation to consent to recording. Indeed, 10 other states utilize all party consent on which our current law is based. There are other bills pending before the General Assembly right now to adopt that standard. But this bill is not about the question of one party consent. It is focused on a very specific and urgent problem facing our citizenry, and it's very narrowly crafted to address that problem. And I'd ask for your support.